does the narcissist recognize your worth after you've moved on? From the moment the narcissist first met you, they knew that you were something of value. They knew that you had something to offer. They knew that you had something that would benefit or favor them in some way. If they didn't believe that you had any value, they never would have engaged with you in the first place. They don't target people who have nothing valuable to offer them. That would be a waste of their time and energy as they would just be love bombing someone and getting nothing in return. So they have to pick people who they believe to hold something of value or something that can benefit or favor them in some way. They want you to think that they don't see anything valuable within you. But that's just to target your self-esteem and make you think that you can't do any better or you're not worthy or deserving of anything more. They knew what value you held when they were chasing you. That is what made them target you in the first place. That's why they are usually the ones who initiate the first engagement or interaction. They initiated it because they expected to, to receive something in return. They knew that you had something valuable to offer. They knew that you had things that would benefit or favor them in some way. They recognized your worth. They knew everything that you were about and everything that you had to offer. It's not really a question of your worth. It's more about the narcissist being unworthy. They were not worthy or deserving of your time and attention. But they liked what they saw and they liked everything that you had to offer. You were like a shiny new toy and like a child they were not thinking about whether or not they were worthy or deserving of having that toy. They just knew that they wanted it. It was never about how they're going to look after the toy. It was all about what the toy was going to do for them. It was about extracting these nutrients from you to help sustain and support them. But they were not worthy or deserving of anything that you had to offer. They manipulated you, making you believe that they wanted to establish something significant or meaningful, when really they were only interested in extracting these nutrients from you. They were not interested in love or developing a connection. When they initiated the first engagement or interaction, they were never thinking about anything significant or meaningful. They were only there to steal or rob whatever it is that you have which they believed was going to benefit them. This is why they have to use deception, lying and manipulation. 
they have to do this to steal or rob from you. They have to make you believe that they are worthy or deserving of everything that you have to offer. They were never worthy or deserving of anything that you had to offer. But because they have such an exaggerated sense of their own importance or abilities and their sense of entitlement, they don't see any reason why they shouldn't take these things from you. They believe that they are entitled to whatever they want. So they pretend and play their part, acting as though they have something significant or meaningful to offer you, with no other intention than to steal or rob everything that you have to offer, which they are not worthy or deserving of. From the first engagement or interaction, they already knew that they were not worthy or deserving. That's why they had to use deception, lying and manipulation. They had to trick you into engaging or interacting with them. This is something that they had already planned out before they even met you because they already knew that they were not worthy or deserving of anything that you had to offer. Now that you have moved on from the narcissist, you may be wondering if the narcissist ever recognized your worth or if they ever really appreciated you. Yes, they did recognize your worth. They knew that you held something of value. That was what attracted them to you in the first place. But it was never about love or developing a connection. It was never about anything significant or meaningful. They just used that because they knew it was what you wanted to trick you into sharing everything that you had to offer with them. They might see it as though they had a good time or they benefited or gained something from it. But it never had anything to do with you as a person. It was all about them extracting your goods and services to sustain and support them. It was never about anything significant or meaningful. They were never thinking about how their behavior would affect you or how you would feel if you ever discovered that the entire relationship was a lie. They were just thinking about what you had to offer and how it was going to benefit or favor them, what they were going to get out of it. That's exactly how they think from the first engagement or interaction. While they may have shown you some admiration and respect in the beginning, it was only because they knew it was what you wanted to see and they knew that was going to attract you. And just like the scenario with the child and the toy, 
The child soon gets bored of the toy and begins to devalue it, maybe even destroy it, and then finds another toy to play with. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the new merchandise in the Narcs Forever store where you can purchase your own Narcs Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.